This night means so much to me because like, I haven't been out and like, I haven't been out like partying in like a week. You know what uh, uh, Baz did? What Baz did do? He like, he fucking, <laughs> You don't gotta believe this. <laughs> he got a pie. Yeah. <laughs> and he dropped it everywhere. It was fucking so funny. Is, oh, fuck. Is that, is that it? Yeah, well, he paid like $12 for that pie. It was one of those. Fuck, way more. Way more. Was it, when I'm going for a night out on the town with the boys, I'll normally um, swing by the bottle after work. And then when I get home, I'll sink half that piss. And then I'll like change my shirt. Can, is that, is it Africa? I've got oh, it on my finger. See, these are so confusing. It's like, which way, oh, which way does it go? I don't know. It's like they should make arrows. <laughs> yeah, but that's not on me. Well, some people tell me that you shouldn't wear so much Lynx Africa if you're an asthmatic because it actually affects the air quality that you breathe in. But I say that it affects it, the pheromones that I give off towards women because that's like science right is that they're proven to be more attracted to certain like scents and stuff and whilst my day-to-day -day is normally like cow manure and like bo when i put on lynx africa they're like oh you know what i mean like they're, they're like straight in there you punk see eaten tonight oi <laughs> yeah i asked him to bring some gear oi what yeah he's gonna bring some gear he's gonna get fucked up now you told me you could only get kit because his sister's a veterinarian. Oh yeah. Well, I'll take care. I'll take anything that's going, eh? Yeah, but last time, last time I took care of it, I just suddenly started like feeling like, you know, I had a really long face, and I don't know why, but I got really, I got paranoid that I was turning into a horse. Yeah, that's because it's four horses. I wonder. If I that... I know, but I like had that thought, and then I manifested it in my brain that I was a horse. Who's Ethan? <laughs> no way, you talk about, if you talk to Ethan, if you talk to Ethan or, nah, Ethan's a loose cunt, eh? He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like you know? Ethan's some fucko that we're friends with and we keep trying to drop him off because he's fucking drop kick away. He is literally no good. Literally every mum that meets us goes, are you fucking with Ethan? Oi? And we go, no, we would never see Ethan. We don't. We fucking see Ethan every night because he comes down and he goes, you want some kit? You want some kit? And I tell him, no, fuck off, Ethan. I don't want any kit because when I took your kit, it was Panadol and it just eased my headache and it didn't do anything. I've never seen Kate yeah. not fucked on coke. On coke? Yeah. Who the fuck has money to do coke? Well, Kate, because she's gone that hairdressing salary. That's crazy, you know, hairdressers earn so much. <sighs> Can you imagine, like, I mean, I do, like, so much all the time, and I don't have any money, and I don't understand I literally, I work manual labour, like, every day from 4am, and I don't wake... I don't make anywhere as near as those bitches and they just have to wear black and occasionally get hair splinters out of their hands. Yeah, I know. You know what like, I mean? Yeah. I mean, you have no money to pay for rent, or That's why Ethan is, like, selling drugs. That, it's really, it's the modern day conundrum of the bogan man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, that's why I'm really glad you're sober Dean, boy. Now, fuck off, boy. Yeah. No, I did it last week. No, your sister did it last no, week. No, my sister did it last week because I asked her to do it last week, Oi. Yeah, but that's... Now, that is last... essentially me volunteering no. her, which is... Uh, that's, that's my turn. No, it's your turn, Oi. You're two literally different people. No, no, that... No, you... Just because you have younger brothers, so they can't fucking drive, yeah. Oi. No, you have to, Oi. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Well, if I drank, I wouldn't be able to. So, but D. You know, if I get drunk first. Last one, hun. Well, can I, can I have a case of Wallo? Public holiday. Oh, fuck. Hi, Jess's mum. Hi, Jess. How are you? Good, thanks. How's dad? Still dead. That's nice. Have a good night. <laughs> Mum, was there an 
Now push me back. Jake's a menace to society. I'm not going to lie. I, It's my son. You know, I know the reality. I don't need other parents to tell me that my son has anger management issues. I see it in the home. And we have tried to, you know, channel that anger into creative means. But unfortunately, he's just not creative or academically skilled, you know. And everyone is just so mad about, oh, why don't you just channel him into, into karate or something like that. And I tried. I tried. And he beat up those other children to pommel. And he made. He made them noses bleed. <laughs> Who the fuck thought judo classes for Jake was a fucking good idea? Fuck. <laughs> How would you describe your relationship with Chase? Um, uh, cut. I, I feel very cool about Steve. Steve's like really mean to me sometimes. Like, he'll tell me to like stop talking to my mum in such a loud voice and I don't like that. I'm like, I'm 24, I can talk to my mum however I want with both adults, you know? It's like, you're not my dad, like you're not my dad, you know? I'm like, you're so big and so tall and you like, you think you're like a cool guy, you know? But like, nah, I've never heard you say anything more than like, Shut it! And I'm like, you fucking dick, you know? Like, he's trying to be my dad. And, like, Jake really likes him, but Jake is so fucking dumb. Oh, Steve is an awesome boy. Nah, nah, Jace is just blinded by his own hatred and mistrust of older gentlemen in his mum's life. But, like, we get on, like, great. He's like a father figure to me. He's like a father figure to me. Jace, listen to your father! He's not even my real dad! You're a fucking twerp boy! Fuck you! It's a really good episode of Tipping Point, actually. No, I actually like Tipping Point. It's like not intellectually elitist in any way. Like other game shows rely on a knowledge of game theory and I feel like this is really... Jen, you were badly parented and it fucking shows, okay? Permission to beat your son, miss? Sorry. Oh, you such a fucking crybaby boy. I like it when the... When the counter's full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she just gonna see this? Alright, cool. Jez is like... Like, if I had a brother and had a best friend all wrapped into one. And like, he he picks me up when I'm down. You know, actually one time, I was in a really deep K-hole. And he was the only one that held me through it. Like, I was like out. Like, I was like out. I thought I was sinking through the ground. And he like held me like a little baby. And I got out of there. You fucking sexting my sister, oi? <laughs> oh, ow! I hate you! I'm fucking pissed off at Jace, oi. A pair of my 18 year old sister's undies end up in his car. We went to the barmy together! My Fuck you, fuck you, you fucking would! Did you think she had? What the fuck is with this crazy ass family?